Oh, Lord, I bless me today, cause I don't know tomorrow. I said, walk out of prayer. Lord, show me. Hi, everyone. My name is Akuridi Adenike. You are welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time of you checking on my channel, please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell for more videos. I really want to thank you guys for your, all your support. I really have. Today, I'm making a tutorial now to cut a line dress with small balloon sleeve. This is the fabric I'm using, Ankara fabric, and this is the matching lining, and these are my tools. Let's begin. What I'm going to be needing for this tutorial are back 16, bust 40, waist 36, hip 42, gown length 41, round sleeve 13 and 11, and arm hole. My arm hole is 19. To start with, I folded this fabric into four because I'm cutting the both front and back together because it's an A-line gown. There is no need for zip. So I'm using hip, which is the biggest part of the body to calculate my measurement. So 40 divided by, by four is 10. Because it's an A-line gown, I'm going to add one inch is plus one inch is plus 10 that's 11 and extra six inches to form that a line so so 11 plus 6 that will give me 17 the fabric will be enough for me and it's folded into four because i'm cutting both front and back together so let me make a straight line here for my starting point From there, I'm going to measure, this is my shoulder line. From the shoulder to my chest line. My arm hole is 19, divided by 2 is 9.5. So, that will be my chest line. Half of my arm hole is my chest line. 9.5 Connect it After that from my shoulder to my boss point my boss point is 10 plus half inch seam allowance that's 10.5 Connect it. So, from my shoulder, I don't need my underboss because it's an inline line gown. From my shoulder to my waist, it's 17 plus half inch seam allowance, that's 17.5. Seventeen 17.5. Remember, the fabric is folded to four because I'm cutting the front and the back together because it's an A-line gown. Now, from my shoulder to the from my shoulder to my hip is 24. My hip line is 24. That'll be 24.5. I don't really need my hip here because it's an A-line gun. I'm just indicating it. 
so full length of my gown is 41 from the shoulder 41 from the shoulder plus 2 inches seam allowance that'll be 43 One plus two inches for the three. So in a straight line, a straight line too. So then I will now input my vertical measurement. On the shoulder line, I will put my neck width. My neck width is four inches. The neck depth will be five inches. Back neck depth will be one point five. So now draw it out. It's my free hand. On the shoulder line, my neck width is 4 inches, the neck depth for the front is 5 inches, for the back is 1.5. I'll now draw it out with my free hand. If you have a French curve, you can use it. So, my shoulder is 16, divided by 2 is 8, plus, five, uh, plus half inch seam along, that's 8.5. On the chest line too, I'm going to input that shoulder, which is 8.5. And now connect it like this to draw out my ham hole. So, one inch is down. So I'll now draw my shoulder slope. Shoulder slope. After that, to draw out my ham hole, I'll first of all input my bust circumference here. My bust is 40. Bust circumference is 40 divided by 4. That will be 10 inch. Plus 1 inch is. That will be 11 inches. So from here now, I'll measure from here, from this point to this point, I'll measure what is there. This is 8.5. 8.5 into 2. You can fold your tip measure like this to get the middle. Here yeah, now, I'll measure 0. Point, oh, 0. Point, I mean 0. 0.7 inward to draw out my front arm hole. So, I'll take my French curve to draw it out from here to this place. So that's my front arm hole. To get my back arm hole, I'll just place it like this. There's no need to come in at the back. Just place it like this and draw it out. So, on my waistline, my waist is 36 divided by 4 is 8. Plus 1 inch is, that's 9 inches. Since I'm not going to need my hip line here, because it's a knee line down, I'll just go straight down to the line. To the bottom line. My hip is 42 divided by divided by 4 is 10.5. Plus 1 inch is as 11.5. Plus that 6 I said earlier. Extra to make it form a line. 
6 plus 11.5, that will give me 7.5. So, I'll now connect. So, from the waist down to the bottom. So if I don't want to if I don't want to add if I don't want it to have any shape. I want to, I want this place to be fitted a little bit. That's why I used my waist to curve it out. But you don't if I don't want it to be to be fitted, I'll just join it from here down to the bottom. So from here down to this place. I don't want to be fitted. I would, if I don't want it to be fitted a little bit, I'll just join it from here to the bottom. If I want it to be fitted a little bit. That's why I came in on the waistline before coming out to the bottom. Now, here now, at this edge now, I'll just cuff it like this. I don't want it to be sharp at that place. So I just curve it like this. Or if you have your French curve, you can. So I will now add 1.5 inch seam allowance to it. Because I'm adding lining. I'm sewing it together with the lining. So that half inch will be for the lining. And the remaining one will be the seam allowance. So I'll have I'll add 1.5 all through. So now join it. So now cut it out. And for cutting, so but this place I'll make sure it's not too sharp, just blend it out because it will not give me problem while sewing. First of all, cut the back button before cutting the front. first before cutting the front and the neck so remove the back before cutting the front. And now cut both the neck and the hand hole for the front after removing the back.
as you can see this is the front has formed the line dress that we are talking about so we'll put it aside now to the sleeve now I told you that it's a very short balloon sleeve I will need the basic sleeve before cutting the balloon that will be at the edge of the sleeve this is for the basic sleeve the cap side and working with is four inches now measure four inches now measure four inches from this place four inches the full length of the sleeve i'm working with is 15 and this one now, this basic sleeve is 9 inches. 9 inches and it plus 1 inch seam allowance. That is 10. Because I'm going to use half to join it to the shoulder and half to join it to the balloon that I'm going to add at the edge here. So this is the basic sleeve. Ham hole is 19. That is 9.5. Half of it is 9.5. Plus one inch same allowance as ten point five. So from this point now I'll just slant it with a straight line. I'll now find the middle of this line. I have ten inches here, half of it is five. So I'll measure half inch upward like this here. So I'll now shape my sleeve out like this. That is the back ham hole. And to get the front ham hole, I just do it like this. So, round sleeve is 12. Divided by 2 is 6. Plus 1 inch seam allowance, that's 7. So, I'm going to it like this now I cut So to cut out the front ham hole, I will open it first before cutting out the front ham hole. That's just it, and how to cut basic sleeve. So now to the right, that's like this. I'm going to add seam allowance, half inch seam allowance around it. Like this, I'm cutting all the four together out because I'm using two for each side. So There's a pocket. I've cut out all the four. One, two, two, two for one side and two for the other side. That's just it on how to cut. I'm going to cut the lining and sew it.